Hey YouTube, in a uh, previous video I showed you how to break a squirt around uh, taking the flat piece of metal. Today I'm going to show you how to make this flat piece of metal. A little bit of math involved, so bear with me. I don't have a camera guy, so first thing you're going to do, you need to know the size of the square you're going to be working with. So for this one, we're going to assume that I'm going to be making an 18 by 12. Okay. So first thing you're going to want to do is give yourself a starting point and give yourself your bottom lip. All right. Now, 18 by 12. So I need to cut that 18 in half at my starting point. So half of 18 is 9. Come 9 from there. 9 from there. Now, go ahead and throw that on the ground. Let's go ahead and get our 12 inches up marked at each one of those side points. Go ahead and do your line across the top. Then go ahead and get your center line. Okay, so at this point we've got our center, we've got our main side which is the 18 inches. So now we need to get the 12 inches. Well, to do that you only go up half of it, 6 inches, because each piece we're making is only half of the round piece. So, what you do, come up here to this top line where you're at. Now if we measure it here, 9 inches, let's go ahead and call it 10 inches up here. Okay. Now you're going to take yourself a square like this. You're going to line it up with this corner right here. Remember I measured from my center point out 9 inches. And since I want to take it out 6 inches, I line it right up with that 6. Okay, now I pivot it. To the point where this part lines up with my mark up here. Do the same thing on this side. Line it up with my six. Line it up with my mark up there. All right. Go ahead and give yourself your laps right here. All right, and now for the top piece. Now, <clears throat> as you see here, I've got my 18 inches. I've got my six inches. Six inches comes up to here. Now, I gotta give myself a round part right here so whenever it folds, it will meet the roundness of a pipe. Now, this is a special type of ruler right here. So if I wanted a 14 inch diameter pipe, I'd have to take 44 inches of metal to go around. Well, we measured ourselves 10 inches right here. So half of 44 is 22. Okay. Now, if I wanted it to be exactly 14 inches, I would do 22. But since I want to be able to slide pipe onto it, I'm gonna do it closer to 21. And what I did here, I lined it up each corner to each corner, 21 
made my mark nice curved edge you see here so <clears throat> what I would then do is I'd put my dot here 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 and right here and what that would tell me is my center point so whenever I'm bending in the break all those breaks like this I'd go from that point to each of these same thing with here and then these dots would go out at 90 degree and then this right here would be the lip that you'd screw them together with and when you get finished with it I showed you a couple pieces already but this is the end product you end up with now, this is what I was talking about the lip folds out in 90 degree and this is what I was talking about the part where it screws together so that's how you do it. A little bit of math involved, but nothing too difficult. Hope you enjoyed that, YouTube.